I, I found I really enjoyed A levels. I um, being able to concentrate on three subjects, most of which I really liked, was so much better than you know, studying eight or nine subjects. And and I suddenly realised in the in the um, in the second year in sixth form that perhaps I could go to university and perhaps I should apply. So I applied to universities and um, I got one offer from Sheffield University. But I messed up one of my A levels and I only got two A levels and I needed three A levels to get to Sheffield to read law. So um, I didn't get in, I didn't have a place. Um, so I was going to go to a London Polytechnic and um, the same teacher who'd given me um, um, extra tuition when I was um, 10 and I had to see him and he asked me how I'd done, I explained, I explained I hadn't got into Sheffield University, I hadn't got the right A-level grades. He said, well, write them a letter, write, write to the dean of the faculty saying, hey, you really want to read law and you really want to go to Sheffield, you've set your heart on it and you'll be a very good student, just write him, no, no harm done. So I wrote to the dean of the faculty of law and one Saturday afternoon, the, the university rang and said, we've got one place left, do you want it? You've got to decide now. So I said, oh yes please. So I, I got into Sheffield um, by the skill of my skill of my team eyes. So I went from being this hopeless and hopeless um, student at a, a grammar school to doing doing fairly well at university. And indeed, I went on to to do a, did a master's degree at University College London. So yes, I in, a, in the space of three four years, I was transformed from being an awful student to being somebody who studied hard, worked hard, and and really enjoyed studying. I think the trouble is, I think if you're if you're not doing very well. At, at school or any other place of learning, you tend to think you're not very good. And you tend to think in your own mind, you know, I'm not really good at this, I'm, I'm a terrible student, I'm never going to succeed. And that really affects your whole outlook. And I think what people need is a lot of support and encouragement. They need to be told, you know, you, you, everyone has strengths, everyone is good at some things. And their parents uh, need to concentrate on the strengths and encourage, encourage children to, to play to their strengths and not to think that they are um, uh, losers and um, unsuccessful just because they're not doing well in you know, exams and certain subjects. I think it's all about encouragement and, and therefore it's all about um, um, uh, being, having more confidence, it's about inner confidence and, and parents should, should I think spend quite a lot of time trying to make sure that their children have, have sufficient self-confidence, self-belief. Mm -hmm.